Welcome to another parent teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. And welcome everyone to lesson 18. And we will be doing two activities in this lesson, number boards and missing numbers. And here's what you'll need for this lesson, uh, a pencil or pencils. Uh, this is called the uh, zero to 10 number board. Then we have the zero to 20 number board. And finally, and we use this in the last lesson, the zero to 20 number writing scrolls. And of course you can, uh, these are printables and you can make copies of these uh, by going to the early gifted manual. All right, so let's start with the zero to 10 number board uh, first. And before I get started here, I just wanna let you know that these two activities, number boards and missing numbers, are more of um, assessments or like a, a knowledge check for your child. So these are, are not something you wanna be doing over and over and over again. It's kind of a way for you to check to see if your child uh, recognizes numbers, can count and can write numbers. And you'll see what I mean uh, in just a minute when we go through these, uh, how that's all going to work. So we're gonna start uh, with the zero to 10 number board. And as you can see, I've already filled in the numbers consecutively down this uh, column from zero to 10. And here's the way you wanna start this lesson with your child. You can say, uh, uh, watch what I do. I'm gonna look at the number and then I'm gonna write in, uh, in these boxes with X's, uh, I'm gonna count out that number, and it's kind of hard to uh, explain, you're just gonna to have to show them. Um, zero, is that, uh, am I gonna make any X's at all? And uh, hopefully uh, she'll say no, and then you'll go down to one and say, how about one? And you'll do this. One X, and then you'll, you will show him or her two. I'm gonna make one, two, and maybe show them just one more so they get the idea. Three, one, two, three. And of course, uh, I would recommend having them make an X, but uh, some kids might like a, you know, a check mark, a slash, uh, whatever, just as long as it's very clear what box they're filling in. But I, I recommend an X because it doesn't really look like any number uh, some kids even like to make little circles like that, but they could confuse that with a zero. But anyway, back to the, the number board here. As you can see, uh, you could hand, hand the task over to them now, or you could start out with a, with a fresh copy. And I'm gonna keep going here. One, two, three, four. And what's going to happen here is they're going to see a pattern. And the last X is gonna be on a diagonal line like that. And this is really a good way uh, for the child to see that uh, every, in consecutive numbers, the next number is always one more than the last one. So you might even wanna point that out to them. All right, once uh, he or she has, has mastered this activity, then you can switch to this. And of course, you've, you've put these numbers in ahead of time. And notice, they're all mixed up now, which is, of course, gonna make the task a little harder because there's no more pattern, this diagonal line. So uh, 
And of course, uh, you're, you have no part in this at all. You're just kind of either uh, doing something else in the room or uh, just kind of peeking once in a while at what he or she is doing. So, two, three. And some kids like to count them out loud and some kids don't. Uh, I don't think it, at this point, uh, if they've gotten this far, that's not that important anymore. And obviously, for each number, uh, they would fill in the X's. And finally, here's a zero to 10 number board, if I can get it here, the pages are stuck together, that uh, has all the X's but not the numbers. And I call this the, the number board reversed. So now your child will be counting the X's and writing the numbers, a very different kind of task. So the first one, um, she will look and uh, and it's okay that they can count with their pencil or their fingertip, but actually their pencils might even be better. One, she'll write the number one in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He will write the number ten here and on and on down the page. Uh, once your child has gotten good with the zero to ten number board, then they can move on to the zero to 20 number board, obviously a, a bigger challenge. And uh, as you can see, I've skipped the consecutive numbers because I think they already know uh, by doing it with zero to 10 that it's gonna be on a diagonal. Um, and I've just uh, mixed up all of those numbers, zero to 20 randomly and filled them in ahead of time down the column. And of course, this works the same way as uh, the zero to 10 number board. Uh, your child looks at the number, counts it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and on and on down to the end of the page. Uh, this might take your child a while. This, this could be a bit more challenging. Of course, it depends on your child, but uh, my experience with kindergarten kids is it takes them a while, most kids a while to get down to the bottom. And uh, a good way, uh, and I'll tell you this right now, if you're, if you're checking all of these X's so you don't have to count them, you can, when it comes to looking at your child's work and correcting, you could do this. You could put little numbers in here for guidelines. It's five, 10, of course this is 20 here which will make it easy for you to check your child's work. But be careful, maybe your child might figure that out uh, to, uh, before, you know, before he ever sees you do it. And uh, of course, maybe you don't want, to, want him to see you doing that. That's just for you when you correct the page. But some kids are smart and uh, might actually figure this out, that if they number these, that'll make their job a lot easier. But of course, they can't do that. All right. And then finally, you're moving on to uh, what we call the reverse number board again, and same as the zero to, to uh, 10 reverse number board, but uh, now they're counting more X's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and of course on and on down uh, the sheet until they've completed the exercise. So those are the number, bo number boards. Of course, a great way to uh, see how your child is doing with counting, with number writing, um, with recognizing numbers. And now we'll move on to what I call missing numbers. And as you can see, I've uh, pre-written some numbers here um, and you will be doing the same thing. And as you can see, I've left out certain numbers. Uh, of course, that's why it's a missing number uh, exercise. Your child has to fill in the missing numbers, the ones that aren't there. And, you know, since this, this sheet was used in a different way in the previous lesson, here's something very important that you want to do. You want to take a scissors and let's just separate these so there's no confusion that your child might be copying. This is not a copying exercise. So I'll put one of these out of the way here. 
and now uh, that makes it a little more clearly. So your child will be looking at the, the, the number writing scroll here and looking and she'll go, well, what comes after two? And she's going to be filling in all of the missing numbers. And of course, on and on and on, all the way down to 20. So that's missing numbers. And of course, another way to uh, find out uh, how your child's doing with uh, knowing the numbers, writing the numbers, uh, this, not, this one not counting so much, but those two things. And uh, before I, I sign off here on this lesson, I want to remind you again, um, I consider these to be like knowledge checks and assessments. So uh, you don't want to be uh, um, having, have your child be doing these every day. Um, you know, it's kind of a, what's the word? They're not really doing real things when they do this, making these X's. But nevertheless, it's a great a uh, quick way for you to check and see how your child is doing in, in all these areas when it comes to the numbers 0 to 20. So that's lesson 18, number boards and missing numbers.